I don't have a traditional either art background or science background. I started out in school studying Russian, um, and I did actually go and live in Russia for a while and work there. And then, I don't know, some sort of artistic part of me just kind of wanted to come out. I learned the the wet and wet technique, where you put down one color, watercolor, and then you put a drop of another color in it, and it just sort of blooms out or bleeds, and it creates all these wonderful patterns. Once I learned how to do that, I was totally hooked on it, and I've been doing it ever since. Someone from the Children's National Medical Center here in Washington saw my work at a show, and he said, wow, you know, these really look like things under a microscope. The um, hospital bought a few of my pieces for their collection, and, you know, I just wanted to develop that a little bit more, so I started studying a little bit more so I could understand what I was doing. It wasn't like I was sort of cell biologist and I decided to express and paint what I was doing. It was more like that was what the paint wanted to do, and I was just kind of interpreting it. There's a lot of great stuff online now where you can see photographs of cells or bacteria, whatever, under a microscope. And it's amazing to me how much they look like my work. It's because you have those sort of naturally occurring fractal patterns that are, are kind of everywhere, you know, in trees, in your blood vessels, and so on. And they just also naturally occur when you put wet paint on wet paint. One, another one of the reasons that I like the watercolor is that you, you have the transparency, and that's really useful for showing what's going on inside something. Like you can use a bare wash of paint to show the cytoplasm of a cell, and inside that you can create these little the cytoskeleton or, or the mitotic spindle that's going on as the, the cell is dividing. And it's just, you know, again, it, it's fascinating how much it really looks like what's going on when you see a photograph or even a video of cells dividing. Cell Division 4 is probably one of my favorites, but I couldn't tell you exactly why. It's kind of that great combination of existing perfectly well as an abstract color and shape and also as something that's really recognizable as dividing cells. And I like being on that boundary where, you know, you can appreciate it and enjoy it just as art, but you can also appreciate it as science. I've just started doing the brain cells. Brain cells one is, it's not my first brain cell painting, but it's my first one that was good enough to show anybody in public. And that was actually suggested to me by a scientist. 